Bada bing, bada boom. We are in here. Let's bring this up, and we're going to listen to this. Carrie Lake being bribed by some politician I've never heard of. Colin Rugg breaking. Boom. Let's listen to this. Okay, so I'll read the tweet. We I know we can see it, but we were not going to get Colin Rugg's Twitter handle. At Colin, two L's, Rugg, two G's. Breaking. Arizona Republican Party Chair Jeff Dewitt caught on secret recording trying to bribe Carrie Lake not to run for Senate. Holy shit, but it's bleeped out. Quote, there are very powerful people who want you, who want to keep you out, he said. At one point during their secret recording, Lake was asked to name her, quote, number. Do it, quote, just say it. Is there a number at which, end quote, Lake, I can be bought? That's what it's about? Do it. You can take a pause for a couple of years. You could go right back to what you're doing. This is not about money. It's about country. Wow. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Is there a number at which... I can be bought. <laughs> can be bought. That's what it's about. You can take a pause for a couple of years. No. Let me go right back to what you're doing. No. 10 million, 20 million, 30, no, no, no. A billion, no. This is not about money. This is about our country. I think it's disturbing that they would even... That anybody would think this is... I, I, no, to be fair, even me. Even me, I'll say this. I want a fresh face right now for the reason that I've never seen anyone. I can't think of a single person in a federal race who lost Randy Nguyen. I can't mm -hmm. think of it. If you can think of it, let me know. I am not going to let these people who hate our country tell me not to run. You should call them and tell them to get It's, ed me. it's edited, people. It's a 50 so someone on? Video. What is, I'm assuming this is our friend. Oh, this is, this is. This is back east. They back east. There are very powerful people. They're very powerful out. people. I oh, know they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is mm. in a big way. So this conversation never happened. This is crazy, though. They should want me. I'm a great candidate. People love me. These people are corrupt. She's eating for well, I love it. It's like it's like right. the Pierre Poilievre they eating are, the apple. They are corrupt. This is rap. Don't don't go. Do you though? I'll get myself in trouble. This, if you if you, if you say no, that's just fine. It's your choice. Don't tell people. I They're know. gonna have try to have me murdered. <laughs> I'm not that either. world, man. If that stuff that came out last week is right about the cartel stuff, I mean, right? The cartel, they say the cartels operating in fifty states right now, like all fifty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like, so, like the cartels operating in all fifty. So what what what's going on? Who is it? What? Forget the who. Let me just tell you the what. I just say there are people calling around. I, I, I got to stop here. This is so smarmy. It's so disgusting. It's almost like out of a bad movie where I'm like, if they're going to like cast, uh, let's just think of an actor, a bad actor to bribe someone. Forget about the who, forget about the what. It, it's, it's like such bad acting. I wouldn't believe it if it were in a movie. But this is supposed to be a reality. And I say, is this for real? I mean, that's I, I basically, is this for real? Saying, gosh, no, they can't repeat this. Never repeat this. If you say no, don't you say I got offered to buy a Hank. Hank from Breaking Bad. If this were in a movie, it would be Hank trying to bribe Walter White. And I'd be saying, This is out of character for Hank. Like this is unbelievable, even in a movie. This is not a movie. This is real life, and it actually happened. And the evidence that it's actually mildly true, this fucking scumbag resigned today. And I'm going to get to his resignation letter. Yeah. Because then we lose our ability to get things done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't, 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 don't tell anybody because I'm going to lose. Hey, hey, if you say no, I'm gonna, if you do anything, I'm going to, this office going to burn up. You'll get you 10 million. Here's this, my problem. Rather than just say, let's work with her. She's a great candidate because they don't own me. And it pisses me off. Mm hmm Yeah, it's not about ownership. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. I can picture him like lying it's down. Like control. This. Yeah. I don't know it's about control. I like right now. I picture him lying, like resting back on a desk, like yeah, with his feet up on the desk, like yeah. It's not about control. It's a, it's the smarmiest, most disgusting thing I've heard. And I'm just hoping, I, dude, if this is taken out of context and this is manipulated, uh, I, I'll ask. I will ask Carrie Lake that question if and when she comes on to talk about this. Do you know what this is? This is fucking corruption of the highest order. 
in your face recorded. And the guy resigned today, but we'll get there. It's about being on the team. Being on the team. They want to be on the team. I don't know. They they, want you to be on their team. I don't know where the edits are here. When I edit a video, I try to put in a clear like transition so that everyone knows when it's been edited so that no one accuses me of accidentally uh, deceptively edit. Oh, you, you didn't, I didn't know it was edited. So I try to make those edits uh, distinct and remarkable. Uh, it's tough here. That's fine. That's true. But, Just, you know? but if they're pushing a globalist agenda, I can't do that. So what do they want? What do they want me to do? She's eating. You want to stay out for two years. <laughs> what? Let me tell you what I got for you. Let me tell you what I got for you. Like, who talks like this? It's a use. Let me tell you what I got for you. I, oh, I was going to make a very, very nasty joke that, that is exactly what I'm thinking happens at this scene in the movie. What? Um, I said, you can do whatever you want. It's talking head, this and that. So the, the ask of me was, it's kind of funny. So the, the ask I got today from back east was, this is, yes, it's between us. Is there any companies out there or something that could just put her on the payroll and give her to keep her out? And I said, can you imagine this? This is, I always ask myself this question when I'm hearing something and reacting viscerally. What would be the circumstances that would make this acceptable? And it's a very, very useful exercise. What would be the attenuating extraneous circumstances that would make this not what it sounds like, not as bad as it sounds? If you can think of an explanation for that, I'm curious to know, let me know in the chat. Well, what do you want them to do? Like, whatever we need to do. This is about defeating Trump. And I think that's a bad, bad thing for our country. DeSantis is not America first. This is about the final death blow to Trump. And I don't think that's good for our country. I, mean, you know, I love Trump. I mean, I love Trump. Yeah. It's not but, good for our country, Jeff. But I love Trump. It's not. But at the same time... I'm not even sure Trump can win again. I don't know if he can win again. I think what it really comes down to for a lot of people, not only about like control or gender, it's just about the ability to raise money to win. If you really want to know, all of what this all this boils down to money. Mm -hmm. And even on their end, like what makes them the most money? I know. These all these consultants don't want their their payday to end. And I don't want to make a deal with these kind of people. This is a hill worth dying on. I am not, not, if they're going to steal the election to make me and our, our movement go away. That, that might be uh, her throwing that in here, knowing that she's going to release it. That does absolutely nothing to attenuate the overt corruption we just heard from this guy on the right. I'm not letting him do that. I owe it to the people of Arizona. Or. To or, carry their torch and their voice. Or. or don't go away. Oh, you just get on a consultant. Pause. This is the battle. Right go on a consultant. No, the battle is right now. I'm sorry. Did he just say pause and fill your right coffers? Now. And did he just say pause and fill your coffers? This is the battle is right now, Jeff. And you fill your coffers. No, the battle is right whoa, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Pause. This is the battle is right now, Jeff. And you fill your coffers. I don't think he says, and we go to caucus. I think he says, and we fill your coffers. Okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to be uh, dramatic here, people. You let me know if you think I'm wrong. I think he says, we pause and you fill your coffers, meaning you bank. To carry their torch and their voice. Or you don't go away. Or you pause. This is the battles right now, Jeff. And you fill your coffers. He says, and you fill yeah, your coffers right now. He says, battle and you fill your coffers. He didn't say, and you, and you go to your caucus. Last time. And you fill your coffers. And you fill your you coffers. Know, the battle is right now. The battle is right now. And um, we don't have time to, to pause on this battlefield. You're not. This is an edit. That was a hard edit, clearly. What You can't scratch this. It's not for you. Yeah. You don't have anything to offer them. And they're sitting around people that have stuff to offer them. You know what I mean? 
it's, no, no, it's, no. It's, it's a it's a back club. That's all DC is. It's a big <laughs> That's called corruption. What you're doing right now, sir, who just resigned, you fill your coffers. It's a back scratching club. Yeah, that's called corruption. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. You're no, you're in no position to scratch anybody's back, and you've already made it known that if you get there, you're not going to scratch anybody's back. I don't scratch people's back. You know, I was, I've been on the outs for a lot of people for a long time. I don't scratch my backs. Mm -hmm. you know? Where are we in two years if they steal the election again? Listen to what you're saying. Why yep. don't we do something about it? So that we the people can pick our. What can we do? I'm not. What can we something. do? Go go fill your fucking coffers. That's what you can do, Mister. You have a pretty shitty tie for someone who's been filling his coffers. And I'm going to be the biggest pain in these people. Go back and tell them that I'm running, and I'm going to be the biggest pain in their. And I'm willing to tell them that. And they're going to have to kill me to stop me. I know. I know. Look, and, and you don't have to tell. Holy shit. Here's the link, people. Holy shit. And by the way, yeah, uh, the chat seems to say, fill your coffers, not go to your caucus. Uh, I'm not blaming anybody for that, but that, that's what he said. Fill your coffers, make bank. They'll have to kill you. Hold, ugh. I hate drawing attention to my pimples, but while we're at it, look at it. Look at it right now, people. Oh, gosh. I've got two horns on the... the oh, no. No, that's there. Okay. Sorry, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. That was wrong of me because now I've just drawn attention and you will not be able to unsee the pimple. Did you notice this one here too, right there? Hey, no, there's nothing fine. There's nothing wrong with going through puberty when you're 45. So I, had, I had three kids. They're not going through puberty. I'm going through puberty. Okay, that's outrageous. It's bloody outrageous. There is no explanation for that. There's very little context that can attenuate the scumbaggery that we just heard. And lo and behold, bada bing, bada boom, scumbag out of there. Chair of Arizona Republican Party resigns after leak reveals alleged bribe. Look at this guy. The only thing I'm glad about, his last name is DeWitt. I was like, oh crap, please don't, please don't be, please don't be. I don't think it is. I'll look it up afterwards. You you all know where I'm going with this. Um, motherfucker. It's unbelievable. Audio clip appears to show Jeff DeWitt offering Republican candidate Carrie Lake money to stay out of you. That's not exactly what he was saying. It was actually much more sinister than that. There were people willing to pay her. And I love his... I don't know what the context was to the reference to uh, the cartels operating in 50 states, because that sounded like a threat to me. But I'm a neurotic, uh, you know, Jew boy from 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 Montreal. The leader of Arizona's Republican Party resigned. By the way, when Barnes was saying how how corrupt Arizona and Georgia is, we're now seeing it. Okay. It appearing to show him offering a bribe to the Republican candidate, Carrie Lake, by asking if there were a dollar amount she would take to stay out of the Senate race. Jeff DeWitt, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying like that. The, the chair of the state party was captured in the audio secretly recorded by Lake. It's a one party consent state. So take that, shove it up your butts if you think it's a problem. There are very powerful people who want you to keep, who want to keep you out of the Senate race. They're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. DeWitt said that rather than fight to keep his job, he was stepping down because Lake's team threatened to release more secret recording unless he resigned. Release it, Carrie. Fuck him. He resigned? Done. Release it. I don't know if, I don't even know if I believe this is true. I, how much more can there be than what you already released? I am resigning as Lake requested in the hopes that she will honor her commitment to cease her attacks. Oh, you mean her attacks of not to release to the public your scumbaggery corruption? I'm resigning. I'm resigning. Don't release any more damning information. I might go to jail. Hey, DeWitt, you're going to go from the chair to the chair. Oh, that's funny. Actually, Gosh, I'm on fire tonight. He'll go from the chair to the cell. Lake's team has denied this, saying no one on her campaign threatened to blackmail him. Hey, you know why they didn't? They wouldn't threaten to blackmail you? Because they already got the shit that they needed out on you out into the public domain where it's never going to go away. Oh, you think we need to release more? Was that not bad enough, DeWitt? What is this? What is this? 
State from, I don't know who these people are. The tape speaks for itself. The Arizona GOP chairman, Jeff DeWitt, attempted to bribe Carrie Lake. Thankfully, Carrie is an extremely ethical person who rejected DeWitt's multiple attempts to offer her money and corporate board seats in exchange for Carrie not running for public office. She will be an incredible senator for Arizona for Arizonians. Arizonans? Uh, that's not right. No one from Carrie Lake campaign threatened, no one from Carrie Lake campaign threatened to black or blackmail DeWitt. It's unfortunate that DeWitt hasn't recognized how unethical his behavior was and still hasn't apologized to Arizona Republicans. DeWitt's false claims are just par for the course. The, uh, yeah, I'm going to trust this guy. I just heard this guy either threaten or try to bribe Carrie Lake. Yeah, I'm going to trust him. The Arizona GOP must be relieved to have his resignation. Now we can focus on getting ethical leadership. Okay, fine. Back it up. Rather than fight, okay, I don't, I don't really think I, we care about the rest of this lake. Uh, in the audio obtained by the Daily Mail, Lake objects to the idea that she can be, quote, but rejects any attempt of a bribe. DeWitt repeatedly asked Lake not to tell anyone about the conversation. Totally kosher, people. That's what that's what honest people do. Don't tell anybody of this. You're not recording this, are you? Of course I'm not. Go on. They want, they, they should want me. I'm a great candidate. Okay, fine. Uh, the secret recording fiasco highlights the schism among Arizona Republicans over the party. It doesn't highlight a schism, morons. It hires, it, hi, it highlights corruption. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care about this. In recent years, the state party moved further to the right. Okay. I, I don't think we care about the rest of this article. I hope you appreciated this article. Before moving on, sorry, I've moved on. In a statement on Wednesday, DeWitt called the audio selectively edited. Oh, I'm sorry. So, hey, uh, DeWitt. Tell us what you meant. Like, I, I'm open ears. Do it. You're invited on my channel. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go tweet at him. And a deceptive tactic and said that Lake was actually employed by his private company at the time of the conversation took to... Who gives a shit? Lake, a former television anchor, often wears a microphone to record footage that gets used to boost her brand online. Oh, that's not scumbaggery right there. Hey, go join NBC The Guardian. <laughs> and by the way, if you know that she's probably recording the conversation, how about you not try to bribe her, you dumbass? Congratulations, DeWitt. You're corrupt and stupid. That's a terrible combination. While Lake and her allies have cast DeWitt's comments as an attempt to bribe her, DeWitt characterized the conversation as offering a helpful perspective to someone I considered a friend. Well, you learned a lesson, DeWitt. <laughs> she's not a friend, and you're a corrupt piece of shit. Period. Oh, yeah, no, just, uh, what's your number? That's, I was just, it was just, just perspective to a friend. What's your number to stop her in? The party's far right wanted to wit out of his, oh, the far right, the MAGA, the extreme MAGA Republicans, the Guardian, you guys suck. Uh, they came just weeks before Trump was scheduled to return to Arizona for a visit later this week. Followed by, hey, you, you, you know what? You are corrupt pieces of shit. Well, while we're swearing, let's just, let's get it all out. Do it, you're shit. Do it. You're corrupt shit. It rhymes. It's an amazing thing. It's unbelievable. And they try to blame her. Blame Carrie. Because she records conversations with the intent of it. People could be recording all of my conversations 24 hours a day. And at worst, you would get me losing my shit on a Bell employee over the phone because my fax machine wasn't working because they cut my fax machine when I was a practicing lawyer. And I was like, you know how bad this makes me look as a practicing attorney where when people try to send me faxes, it doesn't go through. Oh. Holy crap. We live in the year 2024 where everyone is recording everything all the time. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Everyone is recording all the time. If you kick a puppy in an elevator, thinking you're not being recorded. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the guy who was caught kicking a puppy in an elevator. You're an idiot. You want to go and meet with someone and try to bribe them? And then you try to claim that they selectively edited it? Sorry, as of now, do it. The burden of proof is on you. Oh my God. Are they the scum of the earth and there's no but? Now hold on. I had another thing about Carrie Lake. Oh yeah, yeah, let's let's go to let's go to his official statement. Yeah, that's 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 one thing. I don't, I don't want to be accused of not letting statement from former chairman Dewitt immediate release. Yeah, um, release it, release it. I'm gonna go through this quickly. In light of the recent revelation that Carrie Lake has released a selectively edited audio recording of our private conversation, dude, what the fuck? She wouldn't release it if it were a public conversation. 
Oh, it was private. I didn't realize that you were recording me uh, abusing you. That was a private beating. Oh, I'm sorry. You recorded that and shared it? That was a private beating. You had no, you had no business doing that. I must clearly address this deceptive tactic. Go ahead, address it to it. The recording 10 months ago, from over 10 months ago. I don't give a shit. It could be from five years ago. Well, you were a piece of shit five years ago. You're probably a piece of shit today. From over 10 months ago. Oh my goodness, 10 months. It was 2023. Is not only taken out of context, but also undermines the integrity of private discussion critical for the party. As in, don't reveal our inter-party corruption. Oh, I'm sorry. Do quit. I'll call you De Twit. That's your name now. De Twit. It's very useful. Revealing inter-party corruption is very useful. Or inner party, I should say, inner party corruption. As chairman, my primary duty, <laughs> duty is to strengthen our party, which often involves bribing our party. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's not what I mean. Which involves challenging dialogue. Holy shit, is there anybody that reads this and is actually being convinced by this? These conversations are meant to assess and enhance the viability of our candidates. The truth is, when I took the helm, the truth is, so you're about to lie. Uh, our party was in disarray, financially unsafe. I don't give a shit. Contrary to the notion of me being an enemy of Lake, Lake's, Lake, this conversation was recorded while I was actually employing Lake in my private company. Oh, okay. So she was employed by your private company and you were trying to buy her off? I mean, what's what's the argument here? That she was already bought off or that she was an employee and you were trying to abuse of your employer-employee relationship? You might not be making the bed you think you're making here, DeWitt. While I employed her as a subordinate, I also tried to pressure her into further subordinacy. No, no, that makes sense. We've had many conversations that I was locking her. Uh, the ethical breach in her recording our conversations. Where, where's the ethical breach? Deal with it, biatch. While Lake was my employee. Oh, so you were trying to pressure your subordinate into acquiescing to your demands as her superior while she was your subordinate? Do it. I, I, I don't actually think you thought this through here. But of course, you didn't because you're an idiot. Dumb and criminal is much better than smart and criminal. Uh, let me see. It raises serious legal and moral concerns. No, it doesn't. There's no legal concerns. Arizona, as far as I understand, is a one-party consent state. So take your legal concerns and shove them up your dumb ass, DeWitt. This act of recording was a betrayal of trust. Oh, boo-hoo. All right, so does that, who's convinced by his explanation right now? My discussion were transparent. Oh, yeah, except you don't like the transparency. They were transparent, but she recorded a secret conversation and made it public. Oh my God! Let's see how much more he 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 buries himself here. They were not they were and intended to offer perspective, not coercion. But she was my employee. Our relationship was based on friendship, but she was my employee. And the conversation that is now being scrutinized was an open, but I'm a, I'm objecting to it being publicized, unguarded, but I don't like it being transparent. Exchange between friends, except she was my employee. Revert to up there. In the living room of her house. I don't give a shit where it was. They could have been done in the synagogue for all I care. I genuinely believe that I was offering a helpful perspective of bribery. Lake has a massive megaphone that I cannot compete with. Truth has a way of making a megaphone. Do it. I'm just a business and financial guy. You're an idiot. You are a corrupt criminal who happened to be occupying a seat that you no longer occupy. I'm, I'm skipping this. I can't stand this. Since our conversation where I advised Lake to postpone her campaign, you didn't advise her to postpone it. You said, what's your offer to postpone it? How much do you want? Oh, my good. Hey, hey I just want to ask the chat here, by the way. Who, who's being convinced by this bullshit? Oh, this is, this is so... In, 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 not in another life. It might come sooner than later. Hire me as a consultant, do it, and I'll tell you what not to do to incriminate yourself. It's not that hard. Shut your damn mouth and don't be an idiot. Since I advise, since our conversation where I advise Lake to postpone her campaign and aim for the, no, I heard what I just heard. You didn't tell her to postpone. You said, what's it going to cost us to postpone? I got big, powerful friends. Oh yeah, and the cartels operate in 50 states. So you might want to think about doing it. Oh my goodness, hell, you cannot go too fast enough. I said things I regret. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just said it was all totally kosher, totally, totally legit. But I realized when hearing Lake's recording that I was set up. Oh, you know what you were set up by, it? Your own corrupt stupidity. I believe she orchestrated this entire... She made me say it. She made me say it. This morning, I was determined to fight my position. However, a few hours ago, I received the ultimatum from Lake's team. Resign today or face 
a release of new, more damage. How much more damaging can it get? Do it. I'm I'm genuinely curious now. Or maybe he received a call from the people who are going to say, "Do it. Get the fuck out. You get fifty thousand dollars a year now." And by the way, cartels work in fifty states. I'm a proud supporter of President Trump having worked. That's not going to save you right now. Uh, our party's focus should be unity, integrity, and the selection of candidates who can truly lead. That's not what I heard in the recording. In closing, my actions will always reflect what's best for Arizona Republicans. Corruption, our commendable uh, elected officials, and our mission to reclaim the White House through corruption. This is bullshit. Contact. Yeah, go ahead and contact them. Holy shit. Like people, I, I I don't think I'm overreacting. I mean that that the, hey, I didn't think he was that guilty before reading that statement. 